one of the things I have been viewing and I like a lot is a, uh, a radius turning attachment or a ball turning attachment. And I'm not sure if I really have any, if I have very much use for one of them, but I really want to make one so that I will have it when I need it. Because I know a couple of a couple of knobs I would like to replace with some uh, some brass knobs, and this gives me a neat little project to do. So. This is what I'm going to do. I'm sitting now to build a ball turning or a radius turning attachment. Hey, Y'all stay tuned. I do have some half inch plate, which is really nowhere near thick enough, but I'm going to double and triple my half inch plate so that I can build it up high enough. To, to make my ball turning attachment. This way I don't have to buy any material. And I really don't have any money right now to buy anything out of, so I'm gonna to probably make it out of uh, things that I just have laying around. And right now I'm cutting this piece of uh, half inch material. Uh, this is gonna be about five inch by five inch. And this will give me about an inch height right here. problem I always seem to get into. Uh, I did not draw up a set of plans. I'm building a radius turning tool, uh, trying to go by visual pictures of what I have seen others make on YouTube. And of course I just set out, there was no real plan, and I don't have any thick material, so uh, I got some half inch plates, so I cut some half inch plates in uh, some squares. Stuck two of them together and I figured well that brings it up really good. Then I took two smaller squares and rounded them on the on the uh, on the lathe. Turned those down to uh, to uh, circles. Um, cut a shaft. I'm gonna fasten this one down. And this one can be free to turn and rotate. And since I don't have a milling machine, and milling is kind of a hard thing to do, I, I can do it on the lathe somewhat, but I don't really have a milling attachment. And I just use this square uh, block that I can mount here on this uh, carriage. And anyway, it, it's pretty difficult. I did mill this uh, this square right here. My plan was that I'm gonna just use this half inch material right here. I'm gonna fasten it down, and I'm gonna use this uh, piece of shim material. I mean, uh, key stock right there. Then I was gonna cut a piece off right here and weld it onto the end, whatever height I needed to, to be here at my center point. But that, that's the problem. I'm already at my center point right there. So that's not gonna work. Not gonna work at all. Uh, I didn't have a plan. And usually when you have a plan, you set out building something that it don't come together right. That's a lesson I keep learning and relearning and relearning. And one of these days, I may get smart enough, I won't relearn it anymore. But I just pulled the screws out of this piece. I'm going to remove it. Throw that over there. I'm going to remove that piece. And now, I'm thinking that I can put this one on. And I will have to bore that into my square piece and I have a place for a, uh, a the head of a uh, socket head screw will go right here but if I can the head just the head just fits 
So, uh, get back in. If I can bore that hole right there, and I will have to cut that off to a half inch. I should be able to screw up in there and be able to lock my, my screw down. I uh, have to grind it off just enough to where this will rotate uh, easily with the screw tight and that will hold it in there and hopefully then I can go about my way. I think the half inch will give me enough that uh, everything will be down low enough that I should be able to put one inch material in the uh, in the uh, chuck Hopefully this part will pass up under it. Uh, they do on a drawing that I've made if I have actually made the draw the drawing to the correct scale. And I, I'm thinking I did. But it should just pass with a, a little bit of clearance, which is what I need to be close. I, I want everything pretty close. The more space you have out, the more chatter you're gonna get, and I don't really want any chatter. So that's my plan for right now. So now I'm boring out the, the hole in the plate. I don't have a drill bit that size. Besides, I think boring would be the best way anyhow. A project I need to, to do sometime in the future is to make a stop that I can clamp onto this rail here and I won't have to worry about a crash. Because right now, the only way I have really to to see how far to go is this dial on my on my axis here, and I have set zero to where I I want to stop. So now I have to turn and watch for the zero to come around. And that is my stopping point right there. It seems to be working just fine. But as you can see, maybe, I'm dangerously close to a crash. And I don't want that to happen at all. Because these corners, these corners here on this piece of metal turn down below my, my carriage here. So yeah I definitely I'm definitely extremely close uh, probably no more than an eighth of an inch so zero is my stopping point I do not want to pass zero by any means I uh, just thought I would show that okay on with the turning The, the first step is this is protruding about three quarters of an inch and I need to bring it down to about a half an inch. If I'm real close I can just put it on a belt sander and then take the last few thousandths off of it. But that's too much for a belt sander and my saw there's no good way to chuck it up into the saw to cut this so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the boy jaw chuck and I'm gonna uh, use my parting tool to cut a little bit off. And then these uh, uh, memory's never any good. These things here have to be turned around. Jaws. <laughs> it's hard to remember a word like jaws. But the jaws have to be taken out and turned over, which is no big deal. Uh, especially on a four jaw chuck since it, they don't have to be put back in in the right order. Just take one out, flip it over, and stick it right back in. Okay, that's the plan. This is uh, showing the piece. Uh, my milling capabilities are extremely limited, so I had doubts about being able to mill a decent slot, so I just cut two half inch pieces and laid them on top 
and I welded mine on there so uh, I think that this is going to work just fine though and it seems like it's going to be pretty good and then I just kind of ground it off a little bit so that's what I'm planning now I'm playing this sort of by the ear as I go along because this is really just my prototype and then once I get one that's actually working I can come back and build one that probably looks a little prettier but to get it to be functional first that's the object this is my tapping machine uh, if you've never seen one before this is a, a bench top drill press uh, I have a uh, floor model drill press that I use and this one's been gathering dust in the corner but I need to tap some quarter twenty holes and quarter twenty it just happens to be my enemy I think I have wrote more quarter twenty taps in my life than any other tap so I'm using the drill press to get it started plus this one's going to have to be tapped uh, a little over an inch uh, that's a good way so I need to go straight plus the fact that I don't have a starting tap the only quarter twenty taps I have they are all bottom taps so they need to start straight and I think I can do it three holes without breaking a quarter twenty tap <laughs> maybe we'll see I'm not sure if I made it clear before when I said this is my tapping machine uh, I do not tap on the power this is just used to hold the uh, the drill bit the the tap straight and I can put a little pressure on it here and there's no light here in the corner put a little bit of pressure on it and just turn it a few rounds with my hand and get the tap started real straight and that makes all the difference in the world uh, how easy it goes in uh, this is a long tap and I've got one done right now and it's good and I'm about to start the second one here I have my <clears throat> two holder set up here and I'm setting checking the height uh, it looks like I'm still a little bit high this piece here that holds the uh, my cutting tool I cut it from a piece of one inch stock I'm getting it the exact height that it needs to be and then I will weld it I'm going to drill a couple of set screws in the top to hold these little two holders that way I can change them out and, uh, and they look like they would do pretty good most of the uh, turning I will do will be on small stuff and it looks like these little two cutting tools will will be pretty good for small stuff plus these are real cheap ones these are the Harbor Freight quarter inch ones and I cut a quarter inch slot and this piece of square stock here and that's what I'm gonna try at least on my my first attempt to get it right and I'm a little high and I have it set up here in my chuck to, to uh, face off a little bit on the end all right well there she is she's all welded up got my holes drilled in the top for my set screws and hey I'm, I'm getting ready to stick this thing on there and see if it will actually cut something <laughs> I'm anxious to try it out all right we'll see you in a minute